Good morning, Hoover, and happy Thursday. We have a packed show for you today. There's new information about marching band and random acts of kindness. Sarah is here with your game term report, and Alex is here with two special guests. Lastly, we also want to give a thanks to Fox News for the cookies. We love teaming up with them last week. It's almost Friday, Hoover, and NCTV News starts now. Good morning, I'm Kaylee Miller. And I'm Logan Corbett. Today is Thursday, November 7th. Let's get started with today's show. If you would like to take the next step academically, now could be your chance. Juniors and seniors with a 4.0 GPA or higher and are interested in joining NHS need to check their emails. NHS is a great way to boost your college resume. If you're a junior or senior interested in NHS, check your email. Women in engineering, you have an important meeting today. The meeting will, be at, will begin after school at 345. Representatives from Inclusioneers will be there to discuss this year's project. Additionally, members should go to Schoology to order a t-shirt for this year by November 14th. Don't miss out on the meeting after school today, and don't forget to order a t-shirt, women in engineering. Itching to grab your stencil and channeling your inner Van Gogh? If so, Art Club will be having a meeting on Wednesday, November 13th, after school in room F3. If you would like to participate and haven't signed up yet, you can grab $5 in the meeting and meet at the meeting. Contact Ms. Grandjean with any questions. You can make it out to the meeting next week, Art Club. Calling all detectives. There's a crime on the scene. The Drama Club needs your help. Auditions to sign up for Drama Club, the production of Sherlock Holmes, are now available. Please see Mr. Niss or go online for your audition packets. If you're interested in being a part of this production, Grab your packets soon. Now, Alex is here with two special Hoopers. What's up, Hoover? I'm Alex Massa. With basketball season just around the corner, many students at Hoover have opted to play for the North Canton YMCA. Joining me today are two senior Y ball players, Alec Toth and Matthew Terry. Thanks for joining me, guys. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, so, Alec, how is Y ball organized? So, we get a GM like Nick Lanny, he gets a group of guys together, and uh, we sign up at the Y and we start practicing, we get ready for the games. Great. And Matt, how have you set goals for your team this season? Well, we are a senior team. Uh, our name right now is the Boston Tea Party, and we have set one goal in mind, and that's to win a championship. You know, the triple doubles and the stats, that's cool and all, but our primary goal, that'll always be our primary focus, is to win a title. For sure. And besides the goals, uh, what does the Y ball season bring when it officially begins, and how often are the games? Well, how the games are uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. You either have one or two games per week, and it starts at the uh, beginning of December. Sign-ups are November 12th through the 14th, and you either play one or two games per week. Why do you think students at Hoover should be playing Y ball? I think it's great to um, get close to that group of guys, and uh, we have fun playing basketball together, too. For sure. Thanks for joining me, guys. If you'd like to join a Y-Ball team or know someone who might be interested, you can register at the North Ken YMCA or go to the gyms in December to show your support. That's all I have for you today. Now, back to you, Kaylee. Thanks, Alex. Yesterday, the Educators Rising students surprised the English and Social Department with a random act of kindness. These teachers work hard every day to provide the best learning education for the students. A special thanks goes out to the culinary students for providing apple cutout cookies for both departments. Thank you teachers today for all that you've done. Now, Sarah's here with your weekly game time report. Hey Hoover, I'm Sarah Shepard here with your game time report. This past weekend, our final fall sports seasons came to an end. Tackling it to football, last Friday the team went up against the Jackson Polar Bears and fell short in the fourth quarter. Senior Adam Gurgualo had the best night on offense with 22 carries for 164 yards to go along with two touchdowns. And Brock Henney led the team in receiving with two receptions for 32 yards and a touchdown. The boys unfortunately lost 29-23. to Great job on your season, boys. Kicking it to soccer, last Saturday the boys went north to green and went up against Medina, who was ranked first in the state. The boys were up the entirety of the game with a goal from senior Alex McCoy and a penalty kick from Josh Ray. The last four minutes of the game, Medina scored twice with a goal and a penalty kick, allowing them to win the game in an instant classic. It was a record-breaking season for the Hoover boys as they finished top eight in the state. Next season, the boys will be playing on a brand new field. Jake Scafidi has the inside scoop. Hey Hoover, Jake Scafidi here reporting from the soccer and soon-to-be lacrosse field. 
As you can see, the field is currently under construction and will be getting new bleachers, scoreboard, and turf. This project began in the spring, but due to delays, the installment of the turf did not begin until October 1st. The new home for the boys and girls soccer teams, as well as the boys and girls lacrosse teams, will cost about $1.2 million, which is being funded by private donations and other non-tax revenue as part of the school's athletic facilities master plan. The goal is for the project to be completed before the upcoming holiday season. The new field will complement the new concession stands and locker rooms built beside the stadium just last year and will continue to make Hoover the place to be. For NCTV News, I'm Jake Scafidi. Thanks, Jake. In national news this past Tuesday, the College Football Committee released their initial playoff rankings. Ohio State is ranked 1, LSU 2, Alabama 3, and Penn State 4. The committee will be releasing updated rankings every Tuesday leading up to the college football playoff. That's all that I have for your game time report. Now, back to you, Kaylee. Thanks, Sarah. If you have some spare time on Saturday and would like to tap your foot and bob your head, this is a great opportunity for you. The Hoover Marching Band will be performing at the State Marching Band Finals this Saturday at 4.45 in the evening. The band will be performing at Brunswick High School, where they will be playing the show Voice of the Night one last time. Come out and support your marching band on Saturday at Brunswick High School. Do you have an interest in makeup and hair? If so, we have an opportunity for you. If you would like to help out with makeup and hair for Newsies the Musical, please contact Peyton Sullivan at her school email. The deadline to email is tomorrow, so don't miss out on this great opportunity. Now, let's see what's for lunch today. Hey, Bo, what's going on? Hey, Miss Clark, uh, what do you got for lunch today? Etc. Etc. Macaroni Express, uh, 7th Street Diner, Chicken Strips, or Viking Sub. Me? Uh, probably Macaroni Express. That's usually my fave. That's all for today's broadcast. Have a tremendous Thursday, Hoover.